All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel once again. Uh, now, before I get started here and reacting to a short horror film, by the way, I want to make sure all of you have checked out my speed drawing video. I just uploaded that after some time that I've been saying that I was going to upload it. So I just put that up. Make sure to go ahead and check that out. It would be a great support for me and I would really appreciate that. It's about eight minutes long. You don't have to watch the whole thing, but I would recommend you do because it's a lot of hours I cut down into eight minutes. Uh, it was a lot of work. Now, I would appreciate it if you guys stick around and check out the whole video entirely. Um, but yeah, go ahead and check that out. And of course, my Instagram will be right below that video so you can go ahead and check out some more of my work. But as for this one here, we're going to do a quick reaction to a short horror film. All right. This one is called Other Kin and it is by Alter. And this one stars Georgina Campbell. So she uh, is an actress that starred in the movie of Barbarian. OK, uh, it's a great it's a great horror film. I'll recommend you to check that out uh, in the dark, get some, with some popcorn and have a great time. Just don't bring your kids or if you do cover their eyes because there's a couple of intense scenes there. But uh, it's a great movie. I highly recommend it. And uh, that same actress, Georgina Campbell, that was in that Barbarian film. She stars in this one here. So I'm very, very excited to check it out. Uh, and uh, I have no idea what it's about, but I'm always having faith in Alter because their their storytelling is just it's just really, really well done. Uh, and so I always like their work. It's uh, very high value. So let's go ahead and jump right into this and see what we think. All right. So as you all know, let's get scared. There she is. Okay, so before we continue on here, uh, I did read the description in the beginning of this, uh, and it's just basically her trying to uh, find her parents after uh, you know many years of not being in contact with them and sort of reconnecting with them. And so when she finds them, it's like a yeah. So basically, that's like the whole you know the whole uh, plot here. Everything just kind of overturns in the process. Um, she discovers something that she didn't think she would. So just wanted to. Let you guys know what I read. <laughs> Shall we? Let's go inside. <laughs> Welcome home, huh? <laughs> what do you think? Alone. I'm just excited that you're here. <laughs> I'm gonna go turn on some lights. A little Do creepy there, wasn't it? Place? No. Oh, have a little one. She looks like she looks a lot like the other actress that plays uh, Tinkerbell in that new Peter Pan movie. A little bit, doesn't she? I don't know her name. Kind of reminds me, like, uh, from some angles. Oh, uh, looks like that's when she measured herself when she was smaller. So her name's Scarlett. <laughs> you used to ask me to measure you every day, <laughs> like you grown an inch overnight. <laughs> oh, and now look at you. Mm. I'm sorry. Uh, could I use your bathroom? Of course. Oh, yeah. Up the stairs, on the left. <laughs> oh, and Scarlett? We're glad you're here. 
That's crazy. She looks really uncomfortable. Well, I haven't seen them in years. Probably never met him. I'm not sure. Well, oh! obviously she knew him. Seventy-three. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's really him, isn't it? All them photos. <laughs> Ike and I have been wanting this for so long. Me too. My mom, uh, my adoptive mother, is here. She didn't want me to meet you. You're here now. I was probably trying to What's warn wrong, her. Darling? Nothing. You just look so happy. Why, <laughs> <laughs> Nike? Mm -hmm. I'll bring you mine and show. I'm fine. That's fine. Our family has always been different. Ike and I never felt like we belong. The way we lived wasn't accepted by society. What do you mean? Well, exactly, yeah. How is that? Silent is more accepting. We found a home here with people that believe what we believe. And what is it you believe? <sighs> oh my God. What is this? The sacrifices? Oh my goodness, look at her stare. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's um it's getting late. I should I should really start heading home. Ike, you were supposed to remind me. Probably some oh, lamb sacrifices. The ferry stops running at seven on Saturdays. I've had a really nice evening, but I would like to go home. The ferry don't run until morning. I'm sorry, but you'll have to stay tonight. Unless you're a good swimmer. I think it's best you stay here. Slumber party. <laughs> Just say you're a good swimmer. <laughs> oh, that sucks. She's got to stay there. What were on the photos? I didn't catch it. I saw some lambs, people holding lambs. People, little little kids dressed in lambs. They look like that. Or bunnies or something. What is that? Oh my god. Jane? That is What are you doing? Yo. Can you please just take that off? 
Oh my god. That's really disturbing. There's no one in there. Okay, take it apart, throw it in the closet. Get rid of it, man. I'd get rid of that thing. Oh, she's gonna try to sneak out. That's crazy because like, even though she gets out, she's still in, stuck in an island, so there's no way she can leave. Plus, they said they had a whole community of these types of people, so. I'm sure she's being watched. Jeez. What? I... Can you please unlock the door? Oh my god, that's so disturbing. <laughs> nope. Kick the door. No way, man. Do they not have a lock or? Oh, it's right behind her. <gasps> oh my god. What's it doing to her, man? Crazy no, no. people, man. You let me go. You didn't want me. Oh, Scarlet. We didn't give you up. We would never let you go. She was taken away from them before. Oh. Oh, they're permanently, like, sewing her in there. Oh, my goodness. This was good. This was definitely good and disturbing. I'm checking this next one out with Bella Ramsey. All right, everyone, there you have it. So that was Other Kin. Uh, this one was definitely straightforward. It was it was easy to understand. Although there was one part that was a bit confusing to me, which was when they showed her the book, um, the uh, the album where it had all these people dressed in like these you know, these life-size uh, stuffed animals uh, suits that, you know, I, I saw some rabbits or something going on there, some lambs, all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Maybe I probably, it was so quick. I probably, um, you know, saw wrong, but uh, so we, we get this person, right? Which, you know, Georgina Campbell, she's the main character here. She's looking for her parents that she hasn't seen, you know, in years, looks like they were her biological parents, I guess. And she was, uh, from what we find out at the end is she was actually taken away from these people. They never really gave her up. Um, but of course she grew up right before she uh, finally met them again or whatever. And when she grew up with her adoptive parents, she wanted to come back and meet her biological parents. 
But as she mentions, when she's sitting there with her biological parents looking at the album, she says, you know, uh, my adoptive mother, she did not want me to come see you. And I was like, oh, my God, she was probably trying to warn her not to go, you know, or, or maybe she knew exactly what these people were into. Because I'm like, why didn't she just tell her they were into this? But maybe she just knew they were very, very strange people. Uh, so, you know, now we just get her in this place. And now she complete, she's completely stuck because they're literally in the middle of an island uh, where, you know, they had, I guess they had to have a ferry take them to that area. And so overnight she sees, when she sees the album, when they're looking at the album together and she sees all these people dressed in these suits, uh, I might have missed some things there. That was, that part was a little confusing to me, but she suddenly gets uncomfortable and wants to leave. And so that's when we know that uh, the ferry is just off, off access now. There's, there's nothing, it's not operating until tomorrow. So it just stopped working. And so she's forced to stay there in the night. And so now we get this really sinister, uh, you know, uh, sequence of events happening where it's this person in a big life size, you know, stuffed animal suit, which appears to be a fox. Uh, and it's just like watching her right there, rocking on that chair. And that looked very disturbing. That was uh, that was just really scary to watch. Uh, and then the acting, her acting towards that was just so well done. It's like realistic. It's it's how I would respond to someone just staring at me like, can you please stop doing that? Can you please remove that uh, that suit? You know, on, on some movies that when we get scenes, uh, you know, similar to these, the acting is not very convincing. But in this case, it was. It was just she's, you know, I loved her acting in Barbarian. You know, her acting was just amazing. Uh, this, this is main character, you know. Uh, Georgina Campbell's uh, so right here she just does an amazing job reacting to this this person staring at her in this suit and so we just she takes off the head and there's no one in there so I'm thinking this this stuffed animal I guess it's like possessed or something and it just like finds its next victim and it's just sit, sitting there waiting to wrap itself around this next victim because uh well I had to read uh, the description, you know, uh, from the, in the bottom of the video there. And it said that the father was wearing the suit, right? So I'd read this part after the video, right? After I watched the video, because I didn't want to get spoiled. I read like sort of like the beginning of the description before I watched the video, but I read the rest of it after. And it said that her father was in the suit chasing her, right? So I was a little confused because I'm like, okay, well, first, like when she first takes off the head, there's no, there's no one in there. And then her father is later chasing her with the suit. So that was kind of weird. Maybe unless there's two suits he's wearing one and the other one was just possessed. I'm not sure how, how that happened. Um, you can clear it up for me in the comments. I was a little confused about that. Um, I mean, overall, again, the, the whole story was very easy to understand. It's just, I guess some parts, like probably the album part and, and that second part that I mentioned, that was probably a little bit confusing to me. Um, but, the disturbing part is when you get trapped somewhere, like the whole disturbing concept of the whole concept of getting trapped somewhere and not being able to get out. That's that just, you know, triggers my anxiety. It just it just makes me so sad for the people who can't escape uh, from wherever they're trapped in. So, you know, we finally get her just, you know, just stuck in the, in the room. She gets cornered there and this this thing just attacks her. This stuffed animal just gets her and eventually she's trapped in it. So. I, I just thought, man, that whole, that whole concept was really scary, man. Just getting completely cornered by crazy people and being forced to do something you don't want to do, being forced to stay in a place where you don't want to stay. And there's no one there to help you. There's no one there to rescue you. So it's, it's, it's horrible, man. I mean, and then, you know, I was expecting maybe something where she tries to get out, but that was it. I mean, she's, she's stuck. She's, she's uh, inside that suit. That suit took over and you know, the parents were sewing her in there. Uh, where she wouldn't just where she wouldn't be able to get out she'd be permanently stuck in that suit and uh, maybe my guess is maybe that thing would possess her and just make her a part of them i guess and i think the most disturbing part of this was when they told her that they never uh they never gave her away that they actually never let her go so that was like you know that's what i was thinking i think uh the adoptive parents or whoever like probably noticed these people were just out of their minds and they completely took her away from them. But, you know, she grew up and, and was just, you know, anxious to see them again and meet them again and reconnect with them again. But it's just, you know, it wasn't as expected. So, uh, yeah, that is 
that's something to think about in real life sometimes, you know, when you're when you're in that situation. Uh, obviously, I'm not in that situation, but some of you are. Uh, a lot of people are. And it's just something you, <laughs> you sometimes you got to you got to do some research or do some background checking on uh, on anybody that you want to reconnect with. Uh, you want to make sure that you're not tr- you're not jumping back into some kind of, you know, situation that will uh, negatively impact you uh, just because you you're. Uh, you know, you want to go back and, and reconnect with somebody in particular. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you got to make sure that you're you're going the right direction. You're making the right decision. Uh, now, I'm not saying this will happen, obviously, but there are people that are, you know, a little bit out of their mind in this planet, in this world. You know, so you want to make sure that uh, who you're getting involved with in general, really, it's not just, you know, uh, reconnecting with with parents or reconnecting with siblings or anything like that it, it could be just meeting somebody new you want to make sure that you see everything about them you you i don't know do some background check or get some uh get some you know opinions or advice from other people that know them well i don't know man but this 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 is something that makes me want to think about like going back to something in the past or reconnecting it's just you got to think about this kind of stuff so yeah i want i would not want to be a part of that that's some crazy stuff man i really enjoyed this one though let me know what y'all th- what y'all thought about it and let me know which part was uh, your favorite so uh yeah and uh yeah so let me know also if you have other videos in mind other funny videos other types of uh what is it called other types of well other types of videos really and i'll go ahead and check them out for you so uh for now that's all i got for you And I hope y'all have a great day today. Thank you for watching. Peace.